Hello and welcome back to Lindrup's Place. Life is Strange, episode 2, out of time. Um, we just got back to the school. After saving Chloe's life, again. Um, there's that security guard guy. I don't like him. Where's Kate? I want to find Kate. Got some time to wander around. Can't go that. Most of these people I don't care about. Screw that guy. Max, can we talk? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong. But upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Uh, why do you make me, like, second guess what I've done? Uh, I'm just going to hate him anyway, so. Sci-fi lab? Okay, so, science lab. I still oh. have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Yeah, why not? Let's go check out. Chemistry. Oh, God. Really? It's just going to be called chemistry stuff? <laughs> hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max? Uh, we'll start with sodium. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Let's go back. Think, big brain. Think. Hey, Warren. Let's skip ahead. Maxwell and I said I wouldn't do that, but... Perfect timing. I need help with this. Asking me for help? Me? I have to add either. Uh, let's go potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. <laughs> okay. Well, I did both. Uh, let's talk to him again. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. <laughs> this can't be that hard. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna head to class now, because, well... Reasons. It's Evan. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? Kate. You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Uh-oh. I broke Kate. I didn't do it. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? 
I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She <laughs> can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I will. She's mad I missed her call today. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. Hmm. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Mm. I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Mm. <sighs> Sigh. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Taylor? Like you I give a flying this. fuck. Here comes the mysterious Max, <laughs> disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. This is kind of strange. Hmm. Oh, what up, Max? Hey, Warren. Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we see have you a later. lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, no smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Oh. Damn it. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. So we can thank reality TV. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. V for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Get to enter a photo in the contest, like Max Caulfield, for example. 
who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives Can we skip ahead? Such Can I skip this? Visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in Monaco. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remains seated. Uh-oh. Kate is prob- oh dear. Dismissed. I did a thing, probably. Is this for real? It flipped out! I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh dear. Kate! No! Oh god. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh, I'm not just rewinding time, I'm stopping it. <laughs> Keep going, Max. You can do it. This is really weird. This is very strange. Yes. Such dramatics. power now I have to do this by myself Max, oh dear. seriously don't come near me I will jump okay okay I'm right here Kate please oh Max I know you want to help me I love that you stepped up to David but it doesn't matter now nothing matters you matter and not just to me I do want to believe that Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? Mm. I swear, it was in silent mode, and I didn't see it, or I totally would have answered. I needed you to answer, Max. Everybody thinks I'm a viral slut now. I'm lying to make her feel better. There is no everybody. There's only your friends and your family who love you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do mm. have my back, Max. 
That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. I'm saving Good. someone. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Hey, Be this strong. is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Yeah. Forever. Come. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No, Kate, please stop. Listen. I don't have my this rewind isn't power the for end, this. Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. Um, ooh, okay. Suicide is a sin, isn't it? If you believe in hell, you might end up there. I don't want that to happen. What difference does it make? I'm already in hell anyway. No! Oh, I couldn't save her. Now I am sad, no! Now I have to live with my actions. <clears throat> I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. Oh, okay. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I, can't I take tell the well-being of every student more gonna... seriously. Believe me. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Okay. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Let's start here. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> Without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. 
Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? Mm. You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Okay. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Let's go back. Wow, we're going way back. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Ugh. Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max. I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Okay, I want to take Nathan Now, if you Nathan have anything down. else to say. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is... Let's skip ahead. Caulfield, please sign here right. to confirm... Now here's the question. Should I go back and do... Continue this investigation try to take down Nathan? Yeah. I'm going to try to take down Nathan. So we're just going to skip through. Uh, Nathan Doster. All I know is that Kate was at a... And we'll skip ahead. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Oh, can't skip this. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. I'm gonna not. try to take down Nathan. And that has nothing to That's do what with it's Kate gonna Marsh. be. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told <sighs> okay. us. I'll continue this investigation from there. I'm going to sign the document this time. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I'm taking him down. That's what's going to happen. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, 
Better people than me. Uh -huh. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? It's another... The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Uh-oh. Aw, hey, Warren. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Wait, did I just get through episode two already? I guess I was... I didn't even think I was going very fast through it. Oh, maybe not. Stop making with the feels. This game is all about the feels. So many of them. Oh, looks like their art guy probably quit, maybe, and left? I don't know. Victoria was actually crying. I still don't like Nathan. Who's that? Is that... That's not Frank. Or is it? Oh, it is Frank. Or the truck driver from the diner? Kate's memorial. Sad. And then Chloe. Up at the... Lighthouse. Yeah, let's figure this out. Oh, so many questions. Okay, so snow at the end of the first one, eclipse at the end of the second. Is this the end of the second? Holy crap, really? All right, well, um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be continuing on with episode three um, in a little while. So, thank you. Bye.